bronze medal match time though here in Medellin at the fourth and final stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. This is a, a tough matchup. Let's go down and meet the athletes. On target number one, representing Germany, Katarina Bauer. On target number two, representing Korea, Han Chaeyong. The lineup for this match is Clement Cesar. So Bauer faces Kang here for the bronze medal. This is a really tough one. Bauer knows that she's already qualified for the finals. She's lost out, okay, in the semi-finals, but she's here for a bronze medal and can relax into the fact that uh, she's already qualified. Kang Chae Young, it's a different story. She knows her chance of a place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup finals is behind her. How much grit and determination does she have to really go for this bronze medal here in Medellin? We're about to find out. It's time for set number one. So they're obviously having uh, different mindsets here, where uh, Katarina is just shooting to get as, uh, as high a as position as possible. Um, and Kang maybe feels like she has lost out already because she is not going to the uh, World Cup final. So it, it'll be interesting to see if uh, she has the professionalism and, and the mental fortitude to uh, really pull through this match. That's the thing, isn't it? It's about that mental fortitude. And like you say, important ranking points for Bauer, 27 for Kang. Means there's an opportunity here for Bauer. She needs a 10 to grab the first two set points. And they share this set, but I don't remember uh, the arrow by arrow results from the, the last match of the, the two of them. But I think that um, my, my feel is that uh, Katarina actually shot a better semi-final than, uh, than Kang did. So uh, although she might be up against a Korean, I think she has a very good chance if she manages to keep that level up that she uh, was showing against uh, Ansan. San. Well, you blow me away again. She had better semi-final by one arrow. Bauer. Quite interested on these uh, replays, uh, get a close up of uh, all the equipment. Bauer's release aid looks uh, very different to anyone else's. Uh, you mean the, the finger tab, uh, the finger protection? Yeah. Um, she has a. Uh, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to uh, name brands here, but she has a finger tab that has a um, special made finger spacer that is uh, cast in a certain size, uh, whereas most finger tabs have a uh, either elastic band or a strap with a little uh, button to tighten it. So it's, it is a, a bit of a different finger spacer, yeah. Set number two, all square between Kang and Bao. So we stick with the order we started with. <laughs> That's the first 10 of the match. Uh, so far they haven't gone out of the gold, but uh, not a lot of 10s have been shot so far. And, uh, it looks like they're both uh, starting to make a change in that. Yeah, she knew that was going to go low. I don't think she expected it to go so low, but you could see in the reaction in her front arm that she was trying to push it up. Uh, when the arrow left, and that's that's a bit of a subconscious yeah. reaction to uh, a certain feel that you have during the shot, um, and it's not really something you can actively train. It's just something that happens if you shoot a lot and if you uh, have a certain 
connection with the bow. Well, that eight has uh, given the opportunity to Kang, who took it. And she grabs the set points in the second set to lead 3-1 over Bauer. Bauer trying a bit of Boquondo, as uh, we call it here, dubbed by Mackenzie Brown, the US archer, uh, where you just try and give a, give a little extra uh, yeah. to try and move the course of the arrow. Do you believe it works? <laughs> no, um, it would be very strange if I said it wouldn't, because I'm, uh, <laughs> I think I'm one of the worst uh, at them. So, uh, yeah. Once uh, a commentator said that it looked like I was incorporating a backflip into my technique, but uh, yeah, I that never, wasn't I, me. <laughs> I, I never went as far as uh, as uh, actually doing a backflip and breaking my neck on stage. Um, so yes, I do think it works. It's not necessarily the movement uh, of, of throwing your bow around, but it's more that you're trying to correct. And because there's no more tension on the bow because you've released the string, it's easier to throw the bow around with the same amount of force that you would use if you're still pulling back the bow. Bauer has had a little reset here going into the third set. She trails by two set points. She's been very good, very dogged this season. Bauer, we've seen a step up in performance. She's behind here, so starts at set number three. <laughs> Yeah, what's important for Katarina now is that she shouldn't dwell on that 1-8 that she shot, but uh, rather look at this as a new opportunity, because every set uh, you start at zero, effectively, um, and it doesn't really matter what the uh, uh, set points are at that particular point. Ten in a row for Kang. She has found the middle of the target. It's the first time we see a little bit of wind on the on the bow there. Uh, Katarina has a little piece of string on her stabilizer that can indicate where the wind's coming from, and that was the first time I've really seen it move. Yeah, the first perfect as well now from Kang Cho Yong. She goes 5-1 clear, and Chef, you mentioned the breeze picking up. If you get a wide shot, if you see a wide shot at home, folks, that the sun is shining here, there's a few clouds in the sky, but the wind is blowing. And if you look at the weather forecast for the city today, storms likely for the next several hours. Yeah, so it might look nice now, but uh, it's, uh, it's very prone to change. Well, they call it the city of eternal spring. That is very true indeed. Bauer had a reset between the second and third sets, but dropped an eight. Perhaps wind affected, we don't know. But Kang has found the middle of the target, shooting a perfect 30 to go 5-1 up. Yeah, and the disappointment on Katarina's face, I think, says enough about that shot. Um, she didn't really want that arrow to go to the eight ring, uh, understandably. And uh, yeah, Kang just took this opportunity to take the lead with uh, another 30. So, big pressure now on Katarina Bauer in this bronze medal match. She has to be clear on points at the end of the next six arrows to stay in with a chance of a medal here in Medellin. <laughs> Kang Cha Young just has to match Katarina Bauer. And she doesn't. into me Come for a measure close enough that they'll have to go and inspect that one kind of made the adjustment
It was definitely out, so... Yeah, it was a great group, but... I think, indeed, Kang will need a 10 to win this. She gets it. <laughs> That's exactly what she's done for a guaranteed 29. It's a provisional 28 for Bauer. Could be marked up to a 29, so we don't know whether it's 6-2 to Kang or 7-1. Either way, Kang has taken the bronze medal.